Welcome back to the channel. Um, the last video that I did, we looked at this thing here, what I called the uh, turbine blades. And I didn't tell you what we're going to use them for. So this video is about what we're going to use these blades for. So uh, let me show you what I got. I've got a bunch of aluminum, some bronze, you know, obviously bar stock and steel around available for this project. And I also had a bunch of bearings, gears and that that I could use. So I wanted to come up with something that would represent my workshop uh, and not have to buy too many things. So, you know, I got the turbine blades built. I've got a bunch of material and gears and things like that. So show you what uh, the process, the thought process was and what I finally decided to come up with and uh, create for this project. So I did some research on YouTube. I looked at a bunch of different whirly gig designs and different videos from different people. This is one uh, video that's on YouTube that shows a uh, whirly gig festival. And you can see people are very creative with these. Um, now most or just about all of them are made out of wood, so I don't know if I'm breaking some kind of whirligig code of ethics uh, by making it out of metal, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so yeah, I wasn't able to find anything um, in some of these videos, and you know I looked uh, many different designs. So actually, after looking for a little bit, I came across a video. Um, and yeah, I'll show you here. This is also on YouTube. You could watch the build on this. Um, if you're familiar with this old house, uh, or later on, uh, the New Yankee Workshop with Norm Avram, uh, Norm actually came up with a whirly gig that represented his shop. Um, and what Norm came up with was a whirly gig that had him uh, actually running a table saw. So here he shows it as, you know, turns on the as the wind turns the propellers or the turbine uh, norm is cutting wood so uh, this inspired me this was the best one that I saw so I decided to do something similar so I did something that will represent my workshop and channel um, so here is a you know a CAD drawing of it and what I did is it's gonna be a, a guy running a bridge port so in this case, one arm is going to be running the spindle up and down like he's drilling. And the other arm on the other side, uh, if we'll spin it around here, will uh, run the crank like he's turning the x-axis handle on the machine. So let's animate this thing, show you guys how it works. So if we animate it here, you can see as the, the turbine blade starts spinning, the arm starts going up and down, and it looks like he's drilling. So uh, I'll probably do a little bit more detail on the vise in that when it's painted, you can see it clear. Uh, and on the other side, uh, he's turning that handle like he's, uh, you know, moving the table axis. Um, so let's go ahead and remove some of the covers and the body so you can see inside uh, what I'm planning on doing. So inside, and you can see the gears and everything, the bearings now, and the levers, arms, and everything that'll make all this function. So if I zoom in here, you can see the spindle going up and down um, with his arms moving. And the gears in the front that uh, translate everything. Now let's look in the back here. I've got a scotch yoke mechanism, which I'll show you in real life how that works. Uh, that's going to translate the rotary motion into linear motion. Um, so let's take a look on the other side here as we spin it around. Uh, you can see a little bit more of it. So here, as we go to the other side, you can see the other uh, handles and uh, levers and that. That'll create the motion uh, to make this work. So you can see now, you know, that scotch yoke mechanism creates uh, linear motion, which makes everything else work on the other side. Made some progress on uh, the project here. Uh, so these are some of the parts that I've finished already. Uh, here's the main body of the whirly gig. You can see all the machining holes. Uh, that's just a plastic mock-up for the base. But I've got the main cutout. I've already installed the bushing for the drive shaft. Um, the operator. He's done already. Uh, the machine. Almost done. A little bit of cleanup work and filing to do on that. It's coming along pretty good. Uh, the main shaft is just a uh, 
stainless steel shafting that's close tolerance, so I didn't really have to do anything with that. The bronze yoke mechanism, I'll show you that in a future video here, how that all works, how it translates motion for me. Um, the shafting, I've got the right gears that I need. Um, some of the smaller shafts I've already completed. And the end caps um, and the rear gearbox and all that that's going to be required. So it's coming along pretty good. Um, <clears throat> should be making some more progress and should have an assembly soon. And uh, we'll see how everything comes together and functions. All right, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video where this stuff will come together and you'll actually be able to see how all these gears are going to work and hopefully I did all the math correctly and they do actually, the gears mesh and uh, things move up and down like they're supposed to. So again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the uh, channel for the next video and see you guys soon.